in Blender, Cycles is obviously the best choice for realism. But it is really slow at rendering scenes with huge volumetric shadows and lighting, which can also throw off the denoising at low sample count. In this video, I will show you a simple trick to flawlessly blend the incredible real-time performances of the EV volumetrics with the beauty and global emulation of Cycles renderers. The trick uses holdouts and the linking of objects between scenes with different render settings in a single blend file, while being able to composite everything at the same time. And it works better than a mist path or depth path compositing. Let's say I want to render a simple city setup with a model by Tom from Sketchfab, with a bunch of clouds made with a principal volume with a density driven by a distorted gradient node, and a sunlight as the light source to get nice god rays. This will take forever to render in cycles without a huge amount of noise, and with EV, I lose all the global illumination. So let's set up my trick. The first step is to put all your objects in four different collections. One for the geometries, one for the lights and emissive geometries, one with your volumetrics and one with the cameras. Let's rename this scene Cycles. In a new scene, which I called EV, you can add instances of your collections. Geometry, lights and volumes. That way, all changes in your main cycle scenes will propagate to here. We are still missing the camera though. Back in the main scene, with the camera selected, hit Ctrl plus L and link it to the EV scene. Now we have the exact same camera in both scenes. Let's adjust the volumetrics parameters in the EV scene. We can crank everything up a bit. Also adjust the start and end values if needed. Now to be able to use the volumetrics from here to our cycles scene, we need to render it as an alpha layer. First, under the film tab of the render properties panel, check transparent. And now we need to make our geometry invisible while keeping its interaction with light and everything. This setting is holdout. However, if we set it on the collection instance alone, for some reason it doesn't work. The workaround is to put this instance in a collection and then we will set this collection as a holdout and indirect only. Now we have a perfect alpha layer of the smoke only. Beautiful, isn't it? To composite this on top of the cycle scene, go to the compositing tab, duplicate the render layer to fetch the layer from the EV scene and simply add an alpha over operation. And just like that, we have perfectly composited EV volumetrics on top of Cycles renders. Of course, you can also save the volumetrics layer separately and composite it later with more flexibility in your software of choice. And how does it perform speedwise? With not much optimization, on my Ryzen 9 plus NVIDIA 3080Ti GPU, EV only is obviously the fastest at under 6 seconds per frame, but it's ugly, so that doesn't count. Now the render with Cycles only takes around 28 seconds per frame, so for this animation, that's a total of 56 minutes. And finally, our little trick here, which looks as good as Cycles, took only 12 seconds per frame for a total of 24 minutes, so it's about two times faster. And that's with the Compositor, which is still pretty slow as of Blender 3.4. Pretty cool, right? I hope this can be useful in your project, if you like this tip and want more, don't forget to like and subscribe to support me. See you next time.